Natalia Bonner. It's day 309. Today we're going to be stitching using my mini 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll start out by using my blue Mark Be Gone marker and a rotary type ruler. I'm going to find the center on my circle block and mark a horizontal line through the center. Then I'll mark an increment right at the center. And now I'm going to mark a vertical line right through the center of my block. After I've marked that center line, then one inch out from the center on both sides, I'm going to mark a small increment. Then I'll adjust my ruler and I'm going to move out on the outside of the block. You'll notice I'm going to mark an increment that's two inches out from the center of the block as well. Now I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll start stitching around the outside of the block, stitching all the way. You'll notice as I stitch around the outside of the block, I am using the mini four in one machine quilting ruler. Now, some, there are rulers out there that fit most shapes, but not every single shape. So I think it's good to learn to adjust your rulers because sometimes when quilting around applique and other shapes, you will need rulers that aren't necessarily just for each shape. Starting at that first marked line, I'm going to stitch a curved point to point line from the top marked line down to the bottom. When I get to the bottom, then I'm going to travel across the ditch, stitching up that straight line. Then from there, I'm going to travel across the ditch on the top and stitch one more curved on the opposite side of the block to complete that design. So I actually had you do a tiny bit too much marking on this design, but that's okay. I'll travel up the side of the ditch where I'll stitch one more horizontal line right through the center of the block. I hope you enjoyed today's block and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.